everyone, Amy here with Amy's Wares, and I have an embossed quick note card to share with you. And who says you need a sentiment? So, this is the Book Cover Engravings 3D embossing folder. I recently acquired it from Altenew. And this is my folder of colored cardstock scraps that are kind of in the purple family. So this is my storage solution recently to try and tackle some of my scraps and actually use them up. I kind of created a rainbow of these plastic folders and just put coordinating colors in them so that I'll actually reach for these and hopefully use this stuff up. So I have this really pretty strip of fuchsia and here's a photo of the finished card to show you the direction that we're headed. It's really simple and I didn't even put a sentiment on it. So basically I decided to cut down this panel, the light purple panel to four inches by five and a quarter. And then I cut this fuchsia strip down. Um, I don't know how thick it is, but I cut it down four inches as well. And here I kind of started to put it down crooked. So I'm carefully trying to pull it up without completely tearing the cardstock because the uh, cardstock in the back is lighter weight and then this purple one is more of the like heavier weight with the white core so um, I had to make sure it was lined up well and now I'm going to spritz it with some water before I run it through off screen through my die cutting machine I have a Spellbinders Platinum 6 and this will work really well um, with the sandwich of the base this with the cardstock and then just one of the top plates I found is the best sandwich that works for me. So I'm just kind of closing the top of it just to see where it's going to put the image on the cardstock and I'm just kind of maneuvering it around to figure out exactly where I want it to go. Um, I will run this through. It's a nice even pressure. I did notice, you'll see in a moment when I pull it out, that there was just a little tiny bit of cracking on the more fuchsia bit. And the reason being is um, I think just because it was just extra thick there and it kind of does that sometimes with the white core stuff. So my way of addressing the cracking is just by adding more white. I'm going to use this white um, unicorn, it's called Unicorn White Pigment Ink from Hero Arts. This is my favorite white pigment ink. I was actually going to do this anyway, so it didn't phase me at all when I saw the cracking because... I knew I was going to add white to it as well. Um, another option you could do uh, if you have a white core cardstock like the fuchsia color is actually take a light um, sanding to the top and then it'll kind of take the top layer of paper off where it's really raised and then you'll get that white core. So that's another way to kind of create this fun um, interesting look to kind of highlight the design. Now I'm just going to use my tape runner and I'm going to attach this right down onto a card base. Now the card base is US A2 size, so four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm really going rogue here right off the edge of my card panel and getting glue all over the place. So I was trying to clean it up, but I thought, meh, whatever. I'm just going to dry it off and figure it out later. Um, but I'm leaving a small white border around the edge of this card base. It's 120 pound accent opaque. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this blingage that I got um, on an order from A Colorful Life Designs. They're flat back sequins without holes in them. And they're re really pretty lavender color that matches really well with the, the lighter card stock. So I'm going to go in odd numbers, three on the top, two on the bottom. I have my jewel picker tool and my Barely Art glue and that's going to finish the card. I decided to leave off a sentiment. I can always add one later or I could just use it as a note card and write you know whatever I want on the inside uh, to my recipient. So you don't always need a sent sentiment. Um, you can add one later or just leave it blank and let the beautiful embossing um, do the work for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time. Bye.